A customer came to me with a complaint that their check engine light was on. To investigate, I connected a scan tool to the vehicle and retrieved two codes. P00111, a camshaft position, timing over advanced or system performance bank 1, and P052B, cold start A, camshaft position, timing over retarded, bank 1. I began by inspecting the engine oil level and condition, since improper oil levels or dirty oil can cause issues with the variable valve timing system. The oil level was correct and the oil was clean, so I moved on to further testing. Using the scan tool, I monitored the live data while increasing the engine speed to 2,500 RPM. The camshaft position should have changed during this test, but it remained at zero degrees, indicating a problem with the variable valve timing system. Next, I disconnected the variable valve timing VVT control solenoid harness connector to inspect its terminals for any signs of damage, corrosion or poor connections, but everything appeared to be in good condition. To confirm the electrical integrity of the circuit, I connected a multimeter to the VVT control solenoid harness connector and used the scan tool to actuate the solenoid. The test confirmed that battery voltage and ground were present, indicating that the wiring and ECM commands were functioning correctly. I then removed the VVT control solenoid for a closer inspection. Visually, the solenoid showed no signs of damage or blockage. However, when I tested its resistance using a multimeter, I found that the resistance was above the manufacturer's specification. This confirmed that the solenoid was faulty and unable to perform as required. The VVT control solenoid plays a critical role in the engine's variable valve timing system by regulating oil flow to the camshaft actuator. This allows the ECM to adjust the camshaft timing for optimal performance, fuel efficiency and emissions. A faulty solenoid can cause timing issues, triggering the check engine light and affecting engine performance. To resolve the problem, I replaced the faulty VVT control solenoid with a new one. After installation, I cleared the diagnostic codes and performed a road test to verify the repair. The vehicle operated smoothly, the check engine light stayed off, and no fault codes returned. By systematically testing the components and verifying the root cause, I ensured the issue was correctly diagnosed and resolved, restoring the vehicle to proper working condition.